Hey AD, I'm Demi Lovato. Welcome to my home. For this house, I wanted to make each room very special and different from the next. When curating the collection of art for this house, I wanted to highlight emerging artists from underrepresented communities. I was able to get really creative with Argyle Design. I had such an amazing time designing this house with them. This is actually my reception room, kind of formal living room. I wanted it to feel very maximalist and creative. There's like this amazing piece by Hannah Epstein called White Pumps. I love my yellow couch. I think it brightens up the room. I love the rug from House of Hackney. We've got this like statue in the corner that I think just gives it a really chic touch. The chandelier in this room is designed by Mui and it's called Mesh Maddox. And I think what's really beautiful about this is it brings a soft touch to the rest of the room. Literally the purpose of this room is just to give it that wow factor when people walk into the house. I literally spend no time in here, but my dogs love it. Speaking of my dogs, I wanna show you where they spend the most time. This is my pup area. This is where they go to the bathroom, they spend their time, this is where they eat their food. The design out here, I wanted to keep it really cute and zen for them. I added really cute touches with these play dogs and the matching chairs, and then they have their little portraits out here as well. This is where I get ready. Having a glam room is really important to me because I spend so much time getting my hair and makeup done for jobs and everything. And so I wanted this room to feel really cozy, really fun with a lot of energy so that when I get ready to go to work, I am in a really good mood and feeling great. Some of the things that I love about this room is this neon sign. It says, you're never fully dressed without a smile. And it's actually kind of funny because I used to do beauty pageants and that was the song that I would sing when I first started out. It's just kind of always stuck with me. It's such a true statement. Like you can put all the makeup on in the world, but unless you're feeling good about yourself, then it's gonna show. So I, it's just like a cute little reminder to stay positive. This is the ribbon chair by Pierre Paulin. And this is a custom mirror that we got really big for this room by Gustav Westman. I wanted the palm trees wallpaper because I just like thought it reminds me of the Beverly Hills Hotel. And I just love this color combo, the hot pink and the dark green. Like I just think it's, I don't know, it's cozy. Sometimes I have friends that come over and they'll sit on this couch and they'll watch me glam and I'll play music. And it's just like, I keep a really good energy in here so that before I go to work, I'm feeling great. This is my living room and I really, really love it. We just painted it this eggplant, deep, rich color. And what's cool about this is the light from the backyard actually illuminates the room. You'd think that if you painted a room a dark color that it would actually make it feel enclosed and kind of cold, but it actually warmed up the room and brings in the natural light really well. I love the contrast between the color of the walls and the color of the couch. I have a lot of really cool little details about this room that I love having. So like right there, I have like a little mushroom chair. These were imported and they are crystal lamps. This is zebra onyx and it's actually all crystal. There's also a leather pig right here because why not? So this table is actually a bonsai tree and it's by an artist named Willie Darrow. It's the same artist that actually had the crystals on the wall piece. And I just love how there's so much floral aspects to the art. It's really important to like keep the energy and life alive in the house by doing so. This piece is by Lola Rose Thompson. And what I love about this piece is it brings so much color into this room. There's a lot of like deep and rich colors, but in here you've got like rainbow and it's just really beautiful. I love how it lines up the room. I have these really cool light fixtures that are actually made by pieces of onion and resin. So these are my onion lamps and they were a vintage find.
This is my kitchen, still really light, good energy. And I wanted to keep it distinct from the living room. So we have this amazing Gucci wallpaper. It's really important to pay attention to details. We have these like handles that are really fun. What I love about this space are the colors that this brings and the contrast that it has to the living room. I think that having a giant island is really important when you're hosting. And I like to cook with my friends. So this is like a really central piece in the house. It's a great place for hosting. And then after we cook, we like to go down to the theater and watch movies. I like to keep the details brass in the kitchen. These salt and pepper shakers are really cute. Just like fun little details are all around the house to keep it fresh, young, creative, and also cozy at the same time. So this is my little breakfast nook area where I like to eat the breakfast that I cook because I am really good at breakfast. Uh, this piece right here is actually by Luke Chiswell and it's a destroyed skateboard that says pretty on it. I love the dichotomy of something being distressed and it saying pretty at the same time. What I love about this piece, it's the Vertigo Lamp by Milia and it's actually iridescent. So if you look closely, it's got this like really beautiful finish to it that I think is a really nice touch and kind of matches the psychedelic theme of the rest of the house. I wanted to show you this really fun hallway that I have. The wallpaper is actually from the same wallpaper company as the reception room by Porter Tellio. And we also have these pieces right here that are by Gucci Ghost. And it's really fun to take selfies in this mirror because you've got Gucci Ghost in the background. This is my dining room. What I love about it is it's got like this kind of mermaid feel to it. I have a lot of incredible art pieces in here. It's also like the, one of the first things you see when you come into the house. Also a little fun detail in this room is I have these chairs that are actually too small to sit in, but they look great. I wanna take you upstairs and I will meet you up there. I'm gonna take my really fun, colorful mirrored elevator. That was me and my spaceship. That's what I call it, because it's just really futuristic and fun. One of my favorite rooms is up here, and I want to show you what I call my shroom room. This is my cloud chandelier. One of my favorite things about this cloud chandelier is that if you're playing music, it changes colors to the beat of the music. So you'll see a lot of art pieces by one of my favorite artists, Jen Stark. And she actually did a custom mural on the ceiling. Also, another cool thing about this room is on the windows, there's this window pane. And when the light comes in, it reflects like rainbow, almost kaleidoscope type of light on the room. What's so fun about having this room is that it's a really cool hang for me and my friends. We can watch TV, we can just chill in here, we have a lot of good conversations. And it's also really nice to just listen to music and feel creative in this room. How I unwind after a long day, sometimes I come in here and I play guitar. Other times I come in here and I lay down on this really cozy bed. I love to binge watch. Right now I'm re-watching Dexter. I like to spend my lazy time in my room. So you'll see more crystals in my house. You've got this big ass selenite up there. You've got this big ass amethyst. And you'll actually see on all the lamps in the room, they have amethyst crystals as well. This is the main bathroom. You have some of my favorite light fixtures in here. This chandelier is kind of reminds me of like dripping wax or resin, which is really cool, but it's actually glass. And you have this other really cool mirror, which looks like it's dripping. And I love that. I have so much clothing in my regular closet that I had to make my guest room into another closet. You might see some of my favorite outfits in here. You've got this like Joshua Tree kind of desert vibes in here. I love it, I think it's 
really fun to come in here and see old pieces that I haven't worn in a while. This is my backyard and what I love about my backyard is it's still so colorful. You've got the yellow umbrellas, you've got really cool seating areas, you have the bar and grill, but I think my favorite part of the backyard is actually my squirrels that I feed and they've, they're right here. That's Teddy and that's also Teddy. I named them all Teddy because I, I can't tell the difference they'll actually come up to me and eat out of my hand. This is my in-ground trampoline. I love jumping on the trampoline and I wanted one in my backyard, but I didn't want the netting to look tacky, so I put it in the ground. I would jump on the trampoline, but I'm not wearing a bra, so that's not happening. My studio is a very sacred space to me. It's some place where I feel like I can come in, I can completely be myself, be totally vulnerable, and just write about what I'm feeling. The studio, I wanted to keep it light and airy and like a very kind of creative environment. I recorded most of my last album in quarantine and I did it right in my home studio, which was really nice. And I've actually recorded a song from my new album called Forever For Me, and I wrote it in here, I sang it in here. This is where I get creative. Okay guys, thank you so much for coming to my home. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you later. I gotta get to the studio, so. You don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs>